Hello and welcome to Andrew's Gaming World. I'm Andrew and today we're going to be playing some more Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This is part 49 of the playthrough. Uh, now, I should have said we're going to be watching because I think there might be a bunch of cutscenes after this. Uh, this is pretty much the last section of the game, if you want to call it that. Uh, just like starting over. So yeah, I think we're, we're pretty much we're pretty much done. We'll see how we go. Uh, hopefully it's not too long so I can keep it all into one video. But uh, we'll see how it goes because there's going to be some Abstergo stuff from what I'm aware of. And then after that we get to see what happens to Edward after we return to the Animus. So he ties up some weaky, weaky. loose ends from what I'm aware of. I don't believe we've been formally introduced. Yeah, that's a, that's a sage. I wish I could explain all this strangeness, but there isn't much time. The short of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. <gasps> Uh-oh. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. Ugh. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Ah! Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Holy crap! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals! He's bleeding fast! Check the victim! Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me! You alright? I will be after a bit of a gubby. Hmm. <laughs> no, okay. There you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? I got something in my pants that can stand. Holy shit, I'm taller than her. What the hell? Good. Try walking around. I'm walking around. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed <laughs> to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. Oh shit. I didn't think it was gonna bloody... You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. In a world where pirates rule the waves, they had to do the trailer these voice. These men will discover that <laughs> nothing is sacred. <laughs> And everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. The name sounds cool, but that trailer was absolutely atrocious. Now let's head back to the Animus. So uh, the... And... well... what now? Talk, you idiot! Look at the light! Isn't that the battery? 
battery. I think that's the battery. Hello? Hello? Ah, <clears throat> Look, sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there is Rebecca, my partner uh, in crime. Hello? Bloody good work earlier. Honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. It's really just too bad that our man on the inside was such a, um, <laughs> uh, how, how, how to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. We take who we can get. Exactly, exactly. Well put. We saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into Abstergo's cloud servers, and I'm not ashamed to say we took it. Uh, not realizing, of course, that he was enlisting you to help him. And to blame, should anything go wrong. I suppose it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. What Sean really wants to say is, if you're up for more hacking, we are too. John gave you level 3 security clearance before you died. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Uh, look, we should really cut it short, Bex. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. And top-notch work. Really top. Give yourself a pat on the back. And happy hacking. So I can continue hacking? I don't understand how... Oh, okay. I, I bet I'm guessing those are those computer thingies. So let's go back into the Animus and see the rest of Edward's story. Uh, that wasn't as long as I expected, so that was a good thing. It's all good. It really is. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm an invisible entity. So that's what I've been playing as the entire time in the Abstergo scenes. Just some invisible thing. Look at it, I move around more smoother than... Oh wow, I can run faster as well. This is so cool. You know how many people we can watch getting undressed? It's like the best thing ever. Why is it not loading? It's stuck loading, isn't it? Bloody hell. Here we go. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us, but our goal must be to scatter our operations, to live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Wow, they mentioned Altair. That's pretty cool. He's very, very rarely mentioned in the other Even games, now. from what I'm aware of. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. And my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. I like how she keeps the flowers in her hair. Good night. 
Oh wow. Terrific <laughs> bird out, sorry guys. Alright, that's the the end guys. You can continue watching if you like. Uh, I'll probably let the credits run, I guess. Um, you know, it's always good to watch the credits at the end, usually. Every last grab of duck on the wind. Uh, that was a pretty nice ending. That was uh Wow. Normally the endings are very climatic in uh, Assassin's Creed games. They like really, they usually really. Did you always know how to sail a boat? The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny, not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother. Well, I didn't leave your. I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lot. To support us. To take care of her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but that wouldn't have mattered. Yes, yeah, so I was saying. Can I steer your boat. Boat. I see no boat here. Do you? I mean shit, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything's a ship. Large and small. But for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. All in the stuntful! Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Uh, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Mm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! Ah, <laughs> oh, so yeah, as I was saying, that Assassin's Creed... Oh, okay, we're gonna see what happens to Jenny. 
this is a pretty ghastly story. So uh, if you haven't read the wikis, you won't really know what happens to Jenny. But uh, I don't know if it's going to reveal what happens to her. Or maybe it might be part of the novels. <clears throat> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah. Please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Am I going to be interrupted again? Okay. See, as I was saying, uh, most of the other Assassin's Creed titles have left with a cliffhanger, pretty much. Uh, but they've always had that heart-wrenching moment at the end. There's always been those heart-wrenching moments towards the end. Uh, which have always been really good. I always like that. And this this is probably one of the nicest endings I've seen because it doesn't leave with a an annoying cliffhanger, but it does have that really touching ending. So that was really good. I like that. So I'm not sure if I can speed up the credits though. I'll just let it run for a bit more. Credits last for a very long time in these kind of games. I'm surprised at how much effort was put into it. So yeah, I will... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I may be doing a review for Assassin's Creed 4. I'm not entirely sure at this stage because my reviews, they take a lot more work to do. Uh, I still haven't got around to doing a review on GTA Online, but I'm beginning to think that for GTA Online, it's not even worth doing a review for it. Uh, I'd probably give that thing a bloody 5 out of 10, but this, uh... Hmm... Assassin's Creed 4, I'd probably give a 9 out of 10, but, uh... Like I said, I'm not sure whether I'd do a review for it or not. But considering I liked it a lot, uh, the story was pretty good, gameplay was good, bar the bugs and issues there, it seems that like Ubisoft tried to add more fluency to the combat. They they mucked it up though by adding a little too much fluency that it, there were just a few hiccups here and there. Like hit, what was it? Collision detection? Uh, detection between interactions between the character and the environment. It was good and bad at the same time. There was too many situations where you tried to, like, Edward would jump over things with ease, then you'd get to, like, a rock or something and it'd stop. Sort of like, what the hell? Why? It's just, it's a rock. You, you could literally just step over it. But no, Edward had to stop. Kind of reminds me of Just Cause 2, the issues there. Oh god, that was a whole different situation. I would also say the, the graphics were pretty good by the, the issues there. I could probably do an entire review in the time it takes to do the credits. Huh. I probably could. Maybe not. But yeah, graphics were good. Uh, bar the issues, uh, a lot of the time I, I noticed that the, the shadows on their faces and a lot of the shadows around the environments were a little grainy or a little dissolved as opposed to smooth and, and slightly transparent like a shadow should be. Audio was actually really good as well, bar the synchronization issues. A lot of audio was out of sync and a lot of audio was just absent at times. That was a bit of an issue altogether. Uh, but the music, oh my god, the music is amazing. If you guys haven't listened to the soundtrack on its own, you should. It is really good. I think his name was Brian Tyler, he composed the, the entire soundtrack. Uh, he did a really, really good job for that. That's really amazing. I'm really glad that Ubisoft uh, didn't really release it to a third party, so that was really good. So I'd say this was definitely worth the money, but at otherwise, I would also like to take the moment to, to point out that this is technically the first playthrough that I've properly gone through, like a first proper long playthrough I've done and finished on Andrew's Gaming World. 
Uh, so if you guys watch from beginning to end, thank you so much. Uh, it, it's really amazing. It's such a good feeling to be able to actually share this with you guys. Like, it is one thing to just finish a game. Like, if I had just finished this uh, at any time, it's like, meh. But the fact that I, I did a playthrough of it and you guys were watching, uh, it's actually it actually makes it a lot a lot more better. It makes it feel a lot more worth it than just playing it on its own. Uh, I really appreciate it if you guys, even if you guys just randomly stumbled across this video and you're just watching it now. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. God, I can't believe it. It's been months since I've been playing this game as well. Bar the hiccups that are happening. So I'm not entirely sure. I am going to be doing Assassin's Creed Liberation. I'm not sure when I'm going to start that because there is that the heat waves coming through Australia, which are an issue for for recording. It's pretty warm now. Uh, it's just I kind of I kind of decided that I would do this for you guys, uh, and, and me of course I wanted to play the game, but uh, I didn't want to leave it for too long. Otherwise, I would have been left without any content. There would have been maybe a week or more where there wouldn't been there wouldn't have been Assassin's Creed footage. So yeah, I decided I would record. And it was a cool day. Yesterday was a cool day. I uh, recorded a lot of Defiance. Of course, this isn't going to be released on the same day. This is probably going to be released a couple weeks from today that I'm recording. So today is the 4th of February. Just to give you guys an idea of the time span between when I record something and release something. This is the 4th of February for me. Uh, 4th of February 2014, so I don't know when this is going to be released. It's going to be maybe a week or two, maybe two weeks. Uh, actually, there is the the Avalon DLC missions that I've got to do, so that will be definitely coming to Andrew's Gaming World. I'll, I'll do that before I do Liberation, so I might actually do that later today uh, and see how we go with that. That's something I kind of want to try out. I think Assassin's Creed does need more female protagonists. It would be really good. These credits are going very, very long. I don't want to skip them. Because it's a tad bit disrespectful. Especially if I really like the game like this. Although I could watch them at a later time. I should also point out if you guys uh, think that letting the credits run or leaving the credits in the video is a good idea or not. So this will actually help for future playthroughs. Uh, let me know as soon as possible. Uh, that way, in future playthroughs, I'll know whether to keep the, uh, what do you call it? to keep the credits or not. Uh, otherwise, I'll just let them run and leave the playthrough there. Uh, but you know what? I think uh, I will, I will leave it there, guys. So, as usual, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and favorite the video and share it with your friends as well. If you got this far, I would love to thank you for watching. Uh, Again, whether you just watch this video from start to finish, or whether you watch from the start of the playthrough all the way to the end, the first proper playthrough to ever be done through Andrew's Gaming World, and you guys were there with me, thank you so much. As usual guys, I will see you in the next video. Gaming World.